So I built a big barge. Let's go over some of its functions. Well, all of its functions. And well, the design process. So first of all, I think the design process, let me just quickly do it. So I don't have a state of it saved in the middle of production, but here's an image. As you can see, this is the start. You start with just placing down the components and planning out the interior space layout. That's the way to do it efficiently. Then if you want to make it armored, you can just surround it with armor and then make it fancy. And if not, you can just make it like this, just add some decorations. So this time I decided to not use any DLC and also go for this kind of rebar style. And I think it looks pretty good. So in terms of functionality, it has pretty much the same mode of components as my previous barge, except it has some hydrogen processing systems and a little bit more interior and also some docking spots between the arms of it that look pretty cool. In terms of usefulness, not the most useful feature, but it looks pretty cool, so I decided to add it. But yeah, it's... You can do quite a lot of stuff with just using blocks that are not only available in DLC. Alright, how do I get up? <laughs> so let's get in. There are three levels in here. So first we enter, we have some trading stuff in here store, contracts, you can immediately get to the bridge from here, just a bridge, looks pretty cool, good view all around, if you go back you have the main stairway back here, and the medical room, down here, bunch of cryo chambers, oh yeah by the way this ship has zero conveyor blocks, so pretty efficient. The decorations everywhere do take up some PCU, but well, they are not needed for the ship to be functional, so you can remove them if you want. And up here, yeah, bridge, nothing much in terms of decoration. Just a bunch of pillars, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, overall the ship the ship looks pretty good, I think. In terms of PCU, fourteen thousand. If you remove some decorations, it might drop a thousand or so. <laughs> Most of the lights are spotlights, so you can light up a large area without taking up too much PCU. And yeah, 32 refineries, 32 large con car containers, 16 assemblers, 8 hydrogen tanks, 8 oxygen tanks, 4 reactors, 16 jump drives, and 16 O2 H2 generators. It will take a while for the all of the tanks to fill up like that. But I mean the ship will be sitting and refining stuff most of the time, so it's not like it needs to process the hydrogen in an, in an hour. And most of the time it will be sitting in a state being converted to station under a safe zone. In terms of lengths, about 200 meters, so pretty big. Let's obstruct the sun with the planet in order to see the lights a bit better. Also, I'm playing with a really dark, dark skybox, so <laughs> if you're playing with any other one, you should be probably be able to see everything. But yeah, as you can see, with not that many spotlights. All of the areas that need to be lit up are lit up.
So yeah, a link to it will be in the description. I see it looks pretty cool.